location at the U of A today for their centennial alumni celebration. We are celebrating a hundred years of achievements by people who have graduated from the U of A, what they've gone on and done in the world. And as you can see, if we look around the quad, everyone is wearing their school colors. We have green and gold treats being handed out, popcorn, lots of noisemakers. Uh, Gooba, the school mascot, is on location. And everyone's just really excited to be here. But what I'm most excited for, and I think you should stay tuned for this, is the gigantic green and gold sock fight that's going to be taking place on location. Imagine 2,015 pairs of green and gold socks flying through the air as everyone takes aim at each other, all in good fun, and then the socks are going to be donated to local charity after that. Stay tuned, it's going to be a fantastic show here at the U of A. But at first, a very special journey to the sea. Here's Shaw TV's Bianca Jade with your first story. And we have Dean Paul Payton with the Faculty of Law handing out some hamburgers today. Hamburgers this afternoon. It's a great green and gold day. Uh, wonderful. Now, uh, I think it's awesome that the deans are volunteering with the food here. What a great celebration. A hundred years of achievements by our U of A alumni. How does it feel to be a part of this? It's incredible. I'm very proud to be part of the University of Alberta and the, the oldest Faculty of Law in Western Canada. We've got a terrific legacy. Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Canada is actually one of our alumni, so lots to celebrate. I think it's really interesting that, for me, when I left my post-secondary, I, I left it behind. But the U of A is like a, a gigantic family you're always going to be part of. It really is. I was traveling this summer. I actually met one of our alumni in London, England. Whether it's here in Vancouver, Toronto, all over the world, they're all part of the U of A family. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much for speaking with thank us. And, and uh, thank you so much. Enjoy handing out hamburgers. <laughs> you know, I'm good right now. Okay. But stay tuned. That gigantic sock fight is coming up after the break. Welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in now, we are once again on location at the U of A, and this is Gupa our U of A Golden Bears mascot. Once again, we are here for the centennial celebration of the U of A Alumni Association. <laughs> Everyone is wearing their school colors today, green and gold, wherever you look. We've got green and gold treats being handed out, cupcakes. People are excited to be here. And what a beautiful fall day as well. The leaves just look gorgeous. It's not too chilly. Perfect time of year to celebrate and be outdoors. Now coming up on the show, we're going to be speaking with the president of the U of A Alumni Association. 100 years of achievements by our alumni. And one of the most interesting things to note is a lot of young people, when they leave their post-secondary institution, they don't usually look back. What keeps people uh, staying connected to the U of A long after they've graduated? We're going to ask that question on the show. Stay tuned for that. But first, volunteer producer Sarah King finds out what drives Alberta storm chasers straight into the center of a tornado. Take a look. All right, we got some cheerleaders with their pom-poms and noisemakers and, of course, the green and gold colors. Uh, we are waiting for the sock fight to start. It could be happening any minute here. I haven't seen anyone pulling out the big boxes of socks, but that'll be happening very, very soon. But first, from the sea to the countryside, up next, Shaw TV's Jen McDonald finds out what's happening with a brand new space displaying Ukrainian artwork. We are now here with Mary Pat Berry. She is the president of the U of A Alumni Association. Uh, the very proud president, proud you told president. me, the Absolutely. very proud president. Um, let's talk about this. A hundred years for the U of A Alumni Association. What does that mean, actually? Well, actually, what it means is that in 1915, the first University of Alberta graduates came together and decided they could do more as a team. Uh, and we are continuing that tradition and the challenge and the promise of the alumni is to do great things. And that is what is happening here at the University of Alberta. Excellent. Some of the great things that have happened over the last 100 years. I know it's a long, long list, but what are some of the things that you would like to know? Oh, well, the Distinguished Alumni Award winners. Um, amazing group of people who really have contributed in so many different ways, starting with folks like Joe Clark and uh, Peter Lougheed and Last night we had 28 alumni award recipients, um, an amazing ceremony at the Jubilee Auditorium with Tim Melton, one of our distinguished alumni uh, award winners, as well as Francis Seville, and other people like that who really have contributed greatly to Edmonton, to Alberta, to the world. 
For the students on location today, in the, just in the beginning of their school year, what do you think they're taking away from this, uh, appreciating 100 years with the alumni? You know what it means? It means that you're part of a really big community, a community that is important and passionate and making changes and really actually building the society that we all want for the future. It means that there is something, I don't know, in the air. As, as I think our first president, Tory, said, there's wine in the air. And I think that's kind of what the feel is today. On wine? Camp. Red wine? White wine? I, I'm not sure what kind of <laughs> wine he was referring to, but he is uh, quoted as having said that there is wine in the air. And I think it's promise and possibility. And that's what the students of today are going to get, I think, out of this event. One thing that I love about the community, as you say, that is the Alumni Association is a lot of us, and myself included, um, when we leave our post-secondary institution, we don't necessarily look back, but that's right. not the case here at the U of A. It's a gigantic family that, that just you always stay connected to. Well, and you know what? The University of Alberta alumni um, have a huge impact uh, here in Edmonton in particular and in Alberta more generally. And really, we've started 70,000 companies. Wow. We generate through those companies, $350 billion in revenues, and one in five Albertans is employed by a U of A graduate. One in five Albertans is Absolutely. employed by a U of A graduate. Well, yes. Mary Pat, your website for more information so people can get all the tidbits they need on the U of A alumni. Um, go to the University of Alberta website, Alumni Association, and look for us there. There'll be lots of information about the Alumni Association. Get involved. Come back to the university. Visit us on campus and join the Alumni Council. I love the pitch. Okay. Mary, thank you so much for your time. Stay tuned. More coming up after the break. On the count of three, one, two, three, throw! Throw! Welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in now, we're at the U of A for the Centennial Alumni Association. It's pretty loud, so bear with me. But look at all the socks! This is the giant sock fight we've been waiting for. 2015 pairs of green and gold socks flying through the air. Uh, marking a hundred years of achievements by our Alumni Association. Let's see how far we can get. I've got Alexa on camera. I'm gonna protect you, but we're gonna, woo! We're gonna hope for the best. All right, let's uh, push our ways in here. Hey, there we go. All right, oh! And, and then you get to fly. And that's what happens when I shouldn't have come into the sock fight. Okay, let's get out of the sock fight. Oh my God, that hurts. This, but and I think they're going for me. Oh, the fun of hosting with a TV camera. Okay, hopefully I'm not blind. But coming up uh, as the sock fight continues here, um, Shaw TV's Tim Dancy takes us to the Art Gallery of Alberta, where we check out one of Alberta's most influential artists right now. Take a look. <laughs> Thanks for that, Tim. And our sock fight is continuing. Thank you. Let's see if we can chat with some people. Hey, why don't you come chat with me for a second here? How's it going? Pretty good. Yeah, have you been nailed in the face yet? But, uh, no, not yet. Not yet, just me, right? I just got I just got into the fray there, so. Uh, here you go. You, you, can off. you like redeem my honor and like nail someone else in the face? I would gladly. I would love you. Okay, wonderful. There's seconds left in this stock fight. Can I chat with you for a second? How are you doing today? We're just grabbing people. Well, are you a student at the U of A? I work here. I'm volunteering here today. You're volunteering. So what do you think of the whole alumni celebration? I love it. It's fun. It's wonderful. And, if it, and you, you managed to get not nailed in the face by any socks? No. Trust me. Okay, wonderful. We're going to see who officially won this sock fight. There is going. There is official winner. Green or gold? Nope. Doesn't even matter. I don't know, like, is it swelling? <laughs> team, team, patches. team Patches won our sock fight. Okay, and we got some Thank happy participants. All right, that's the end of the sock fight. That's how quickly it goes, but I'm gonna see if I can grab one more person here. Let's see who we got. Let's walk, let's walk. Oh, you know what, I see a lady in a sweater. Hi there, how's it going? Are you an alumni of the UFA? And, what, and how many years have you been I graduated in 1954. 1954. I celebrated my 60th last year. And, and what did you study? Physical education. Physical education. Yes. And did you go on to be a gym teacher? I taught physical education and virtually everything else in the Edmonton Public School System 
Wonderful. for 33 years. And, and what's it like to be back here Marvelous. today? Yeah. Marvelous. Yeah. It's such a grand day, and yesterday was remarkable. Yeah. What the is, unveiling of the, of the statue of the visionaries. Wonderful. I'm, and what, what message would you like to pass on to the students who are currently studying here at the U of A? It is, was a marvelous experience and, and set me on the right path. Excellent. And you're still a part of the alumni communi uh, community In today. In Victoria. And you live from here from Victoria. Yes. Excellent. So I'm, I, it's always a pleasure to come back. I, I love the green and gold color. We don't have too much gold in I, BC. Yeah, I can see that. A nice shot of your sweater. My, Thank you. My niece outfits me. Oh, yes. so thank you so much for speaking with us, and, and thanks for stopping by today. Before we go, here is your on-the-go calendar. Some excited students who probably didn't get hit in the face by any socks, just me apparently. But it was so great to, to chat with that last woman who was coming all the way from Victoria to celebrate 100 years of the U of A Alumni Association. For more information about the association and everything that's happening with the centennial celebration, head to the website on your screen. I've been your host, Dana Giesbrecht. I'm going to go nurture this eye of mine now. We'll see you next time. <laughs>